you so much for the introduction, Dave. My name is Alex Bakovitz. And I'm Joshua Spizak. And we're the founders of Mach 9 Robotics, and we're helping you look at what's underground right now. Utilities keep cities running, but what's surprising is that in most cases, the condition and even position of subsurface utilities are completely unknown. This lack of information of cost people <laughs> their lives and led to billions of dollars in financial okay. subsurface. We're back on the solution to this is subsurface mapping, which is currently slow, inaccurate, expensive, dangerous, and just plain hard. Our solution to this problem is an integrated hardware and intelligent mapping software, which makes subsurface mapping faster, cheaper, and more accurate. We do this by streamlining subsurface utility mapping in three key ways. First, we help you create survey grade as built models of surface and subsurface assets that even non-experts can understand. Secondly, we give everyone the power of an expert geophysicist when interpreting their data using our proprietary AI mapping software. And finally, we automatically create deliverables as quickly as you can acquire the data. We're making subsurface mapping as easy as driving a car through Pittsburgh on a normal day, <laughs> not a Sunday night after a Steelers game. Mach 9 evolved out of a research project to position robots in challenging GPS denied environments using subsurface information alone. This is relevant for navigation in the mining industry where visual sensors typically fail under really harsh environmental conditions. We show these results to our customers and learn what they want, which is to be able to automatically position utilities from GPR data directly. We built a platform for surveyors to map utilities even in GPS denied environments like indoors using our internally developed simultaneous localization and mapping system. I collected some data for you all with our prototype mapping unit this past weekend, which we're showing sped up here. In this two minute run, we found all of the vital utilities between the cut and the Gates Hillman Center on CMU's campus. This trajectory is shown on the bottom right in blue. And on the bottom right, we also have the orange dots representing some of the many utilities that keep CMU going each and every single day. Finally, we see this as a stepping stone for us to analyze data at scale and put M1 into the hands of actual users to solve real world problems in industry. So using that customer feedback and technology development, we've arrived at two complementary solutions to the subsurface mapping problem. Our first system is an integrated software solution named M1, which we're beginning to pilot as soon as this summer. M1 will provide a standard visual interface and controller for any conventional radar system. We then use edge machine learning to process data in real time to help technicians get the job done correctly and fast. Our second system, which we're prototyping this summer, is M2, a mobile mapping platform ready to map entire cities. The same software that powers M1 will be used on M2, but to quickly generate 3D models from the most advanced sensing and radar technology available, which is wildly complicated data that typically takes days to analyze. And we've already found several large civil engineering firms and energy companies looking to use M2 for their construction and surveillance projects. And at the center of M1 is machine learning, which is what, how we're able to create this tremendous value for our customers. We're allowing customers to enter new markets using their existing workforce and equipment. Many asset managers want GIS models of their property for maintenance decisions. M1 will generate and export these models in a matter of seconds. Most existing technologies used for this were developed in the 90s and take months to learn. We're creating intuitive interfaces and experience that just makes sense. So that way, every technician is as good as your best technician. And of course, mistakes in this industry can destroy a firm's reputation. M1 helps minimize mistakes and reduce uncertainty in analysis by double checking work to make sure this doesn't happen and mitigate risk. And all of this will be available as a software as a service platform for just $1,250 per unit as a base installation fee and $200 per month a subscription basis for M1's powerful premium features. We're disrupting the technically stagnant and rapidly growing subsurface mapping equipment market and entering this space at the ground level or just below ground level. Our customers are civil engineering companies and utility locating firms who are deeply familiar with the technology that we're providing but in the future, we aim to provide information directly to companies ranging from agriculture to mining to disrupt the over $90 billion subsurface inspection information market. Our competition builds great hardware and software, but no one is addressing how to combine surface and subsurface information to inspect utilities at scale. In fact, several OEMs have reached out to us to build them better software. 
When speaking with practitioners, we found that it takes over five days to just analyze one day of surveying data using existing software. And in over 27 customer interviews with uh, utility locators and surveyors in particular, we found that 80% of these people are dissatisfied with their existing software and would go so far as to change their entire fleet of radar systems to a different OEM just to get marginally better software. Overall, we've spoken to over 200 people within this space and really know what we're doing that's different. We were moving Mach 9 fast. We're in negotiations with the nation's largest utility locating company. We're acquiring tons of relevant data. We're creating partnerships with OEMs to get over $250,000 worth of equipment to construct a, a mobile mapping proof of concept system. And already with this mobile mapping proof of concept system, we anticipate having over $3 million in system sales from already interested clients in the US, Australia, and the UK. We're the right team to tackle the subsurface infrastructure inspection problem. My name is Alex, and I'm the CEO of Mach 9. And of course, I'm Joshua Spisak, and I'm the CTO of Mach 9 Robotics. Josh and I met back in 2018 when we were working with Professor Red Whitaker's group on a large-scale nuclear inspection project. And today, we're bringing together the best technologists, thinkers, hackers, and hustlers from Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. We're also advised by some of the best, including Dave from the Swartz Center, who's only led five successful startup exits. Don Rucker is a seasoned robotics technology advisor. Michael Twohig, an absolute expert in utilities mapping. And Dimi Office Galopoulos, who brings over 30 years of industrial robotics experience to the table. We built the world's best performing GPR positioning system in four months for $550. Imagine what we can accomplish in the next four months with $25,000. If we were to win the prize money from this competition, we'll be able to bring on an Android developer and machine learning engineer to help build M1 and M2 prototypes before raising a pre-seed round at the end of the summer, helping us grow faster and really solve this world problem. We thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, or referrals, please feel free to reach out to me directly at a at mach9.co and help us prevent tomorrow's big infrastructure crisis today. Thanks so much.